I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. going on how's everybody doing today here i'm in cordova tennessee which is a suburb of memphis just right outside just it's memphis um and beautiful beautiful street and there's a house on this street and i'm right beside an empty lot it looks like they're going to build a new house here and the house i'm going to i know burned down around 2011 2012 but not right to the ground and they were able to salvage it um show you an aerial view of what it looked like when it was burned down, I found one. But they rebuilt it, and it was the former home of Isaac Hayes. And Isaac Hayes is a pioneer of Southern Soul and Stax Records. I mean, uh, just an incredible musician. He was the third African-American to win an Oscar. He won a Grammy Award. A certain generation knows him as the voice of Chef from South Park. Isaac Hayes, he died in this home here 2008, August 10th, it was 10 days before his birthday. He had suffered a stroke in 2006, but he was found unresponsive beside his, um, uh, what do you call it? Now I'm trying to remember, you, what do you, you know, like a um, exercise machine. And uh, he was found unresponsive and he passed away. And they, they never really released a physical cause of death, but it was complications due to the stroke that, uh, that he had. So it looks like he had another stroke. And, um, but it was right here in the house that I'm going to show you. And then we're going to go over to the cemetery and find his grave and pay some respects to Isaac Hayes. All right, let's take a look at the house. So it looks almost the same from when he lived in it. And they just basically had to rebuild from the walls. The, the, you know, the structure was still intact, but really had to work on it. And here it is up here. And the word I was looking for was treadmill. Treadmill. <laughs> yeah. wonder how, well... A while since I've been on one, so but treadmill. So that's the former home of Isaac Hayes, and that's the house where he passed away on that treadmill found right beside it. And it's a beautiful home, and it looks like it's now occupied. Looks like again. it's still someone's living there again. All right, let's go visit the cemetery now. keychain that I've had for years. I don't even know what these keys are attached to anymore. Or what they I mean, what they're for. But it's always in my car. And that's always attached. Cartman. A little dirty, a little scuffed. But he's still around. It's a beautiful, beautiful cemetery. Wow. And I believe... This little area here where Isaac Hayes is, I'm gonna find him in a moment. Uh, I think it's called Cook's Corner. Let's walk over here. Yeah. So if you're coming to visit Isaac Hayes when you're in Memphis, come to Cook's Corner. And I should mention it's Cook's Corner Memorial Park Cemetery. Okay, let's take a walk and I'll tell you more about Isaac Hayes. Theme from Shaft. Who doesn't remember that? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Legend. Somewhere up in here. All right, let's take a look. 
some skateboarders skateboarding through a uh, cemetery. All right. Okay, let's take a look. And it's right here. There he is. King Nini Carte Okansi. August 20th, 1942. August 10th, 2008. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. He then looked down, down upon this earth and found your star. He put his arms around you and lifted you to rest. God's gar garden is beautiful now. He always takes the best. But when you left, the biggest part of me left. But thanks for leaving a part of us in Kojo. The hardest thing always was for you to say goodbye, so I won't either. One day we'll be together again. Loving you was the greatest thing I've ever experienced. You'll always be in my heart. My love, your wife, Ajoa Margaret Hayes. Musician, actor, and entertainer Isaac Hayes was born Isaac Lee Hayes Jr. on August 20th, 1942 in Covington, Tennessee. When his parents died at an early age, Isaac went to live with his grandparents in Memphis. He was a good student in high school, wanting to be a doctor. In the ninth grade, however, he dropped out to earn money. Hayes later enrolled in a night school from which he earned his diploma in 1962. By the time Isaac was in his teens, he was adept at playing the piano, organ, and saxophone, as well as having spent years singing in a church choir. When he dropped out of school, Isaac immediately began performing with local R&B groups in Memphis, earning a solid reputation as a musician. He recorded his first album in 1962, and by 1964, he was playing with the house band at Stax Records, one of the premier soul music recording labels in the South. After writing a number of hits in collaboration with David Porter for the group Sam and Dave, Hayes released his first solo album, Presenting Isaac Hayes, in 1967. Two years later, his breakthrough album, Hot Buttered Soul, was released, and Isaac became a star. After producing a soundtrack to an experimental film by author Norman Mailer, Hayes was approached to write the musical score of Shaft in 1971. He would become the first African American to win an Oscar for Best Song. Hayes became involved in acting in the mid-1970s with an Italian film released in America called Three Tough Guys and the title role in the film Truck Turner in 1974. Hayes returned to acting in 1981 with a role in Escape from New York and, of course, in 1988's I'm Gonna Get You, Sucka. The 1990s and beyond saw a resurgence of Hayes in films, playing roles in the Blues Brothers 2000, Dr. Doolittle, a remake of Shaft, and of course, he was also the voice of Chef in the animated television series South Park. He had a radio program on KISS FM and was a spokesman for the World Literacy Crusade, which was a part of the Scientology movement. Hayes also established the Isaac Hayes Foundation to partner with nonprofit organizations to pr uh, promote human rights. While in Ghana in 1995, as a part of the World Literacy Crusade, Hayes was crowned as a king, adopting the name of Nini Kete Okansi I. Hayes was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He also left behind 14 children, I believe, 14 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Definitely one of the more impressive headstones I've ever seen. Absolutely incredible. Right beside him, I'm not sure who this is, but Jimmy Lee Lindsay Jr. AKA Jay Riotard, Memphis punk rocker. Detailing is just incredible. I mean, the etching is just wild. And that's my visit to Isaac Hayes. Right there. Rest in peace, Chef. Rest in peace, Isaac Hayes. Hope everyone's having a great day. Peace out. Right across the street from Isaac Hayes' grave, I discovered something called the Crystal uh, Shrine Grotto. And we're gonna go inside, I'll show you, take a look. It's about 60 feet deep. 
and it's man-made and it was started around 1938 and finally finished in the 80s and it's crazy beautiful Um, Isaac Hayes is right there, like right where I'm pointing. And this is right across the little road, this whole area here. Gorgeous. The toadstools, Abraham's oak. Wow. Definitely recommend coming out to um, Memorial Park here in Memphis. This is very, very beautiful. historic footbridge that I'm on right now. Huh. 